Saker sent me their electric chainsaw. All right, it's testing day for the Saker Mini Chainsaw. First, I'm gonna be testing it out on some small saplings that I need to uh, cut down. Then I'm gonna be trimming some fruit trees with it, and then maybe uh, trimming some perennials back and just seeing what it can do. Alrighty, so first impressions of this, that was pretty fast, but we're gonna have to see uh, what else it can do. All right, so I forgot to mention, but I did lube the chainsaw up with the oil it came with before using it. So I got the chain all lubed up and ready to go. So first impressions is very fast. Uh, as you can see, it cut through that stuff pretty easily, especially the thinner stuff. So if it's just around the house for like thinner branches and perennials that need cutting, I think you'll be pleased with it. Uh, however, a lot of brush and sticks have gotten caught kind of up in the chain guard area way up in there. I was able to remove some of them, but some of them are still way up in there. Might need to see if I can get some tweezers or something in there to remove those. But otherwise, that could be a major issue. You don't want a lot of debris up in there uh, when you're using this. Uh, that could put more strain on it. Uh, it could cause all sorts of issues. So we'll have to do some more testing for sure, but definitely uh, it's kind of a little disappointing that there is uh, stuff caught in there already. After using it for a little bit more, uh, that issue with the brush stuck in there, it looks like uh, just using it cleared it out of there. Uh, got everything moving through there and it clear, cleared it out. So hopefully that stays uh, free of debris from now on.
and the wood pile. Uh, it's not completely cleaned up, but it's looking a lot tidier. We had a lot of long branches laying here on the ground, so then I got those all uh, cut up and stacked on our wood pile. So overall, I really liked how the chainsaw performed. So I've been cutting now for a little over 10 minutes, or about 10 minutes with this chainsaw. Uh, the battery still hasn't died. Uh, no more debris has gotten stuck on the inside. It's cutting things good, efficiently, especially compared to our electric Ryobi chainsaw. Uh, maybe I'll have to do a video, the, the Ryobi electric chainsaw versus the Saker mini electric chainsaw. Uh, the Ryobi's got a bigger bar on it, but this is cutting pretty efficiently uh, compared to that. I think it might be even a little bit faster. Uh, obviously with the bar you can't cut stuff quite as big, but it's a lot faster than using a pruner and you can definitely cut bigger branches than you can cut with a pruner. So, so far uh, it has held up very well. I think it performed uh, quick. I think it's got a uh, pretty good battery life for sure. Didn't die right away on me. Uh, that's something you need to consider. We're getting one of these, you might want to consider getting more than one battery. Uh, just because it's not like a gas chainsaw where you can pour some gas in the tank and you're good to keep cutting. But uh, definitely for things uh, you might normally use a pruner for, I think this is a great option at $90 uh, on Amazon. Uh, you can find a link down below in the video description if you want to buy one for yourself. Uh, I won't get anything for that, but they did send me this chainsaw uh, to make an honest video review on it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you've ever used one of these, let me know down in the comments section below. I'm planning on doing a video review of this versus the Ryobi electric chainsaw. It's a little bit bigger than this one, but still that'll be an interesting video to make. So might be in the spring or summer by the time I make that video. Thank you.